We have two different text types here in Illustrator, and I'm gonna show you how to align them. So first off, we have point type. That means when you press T for the type tool, this guy over here, you can actually just click and type anything in. Or you can also create a text box. T for the type tool, click and drag to make your text box, and then you can type in that. And the difference here is the text box will actually wrap your text as you keep typing and typing. So I have two of those examples here. We have some point type right here. We'll just keep typing out in the line forever. Or we also have a text box down here, which I can change the size and shape of. Okay, so let's align this. Right now, it's aligned to the left, and that's default. We need to go up to the window, down to paragraph, or actually type and then paragraph to pull open the paragraph panel to find our alignment options. More than likely, this is also in the properties panel with a quick paragraph section right here. However, we can also pull open this full paragraph panel and show all the options to make sure we see everything. Now we have some alignment things here. We can align left or align center or align right. Pretty easy stuff right there. We can select multiple text boxes to do the same thing. Now these guys are gonna be a little bit off. Point type does some weird things where its anchor point is at the beginning, right? So if we bring it over here, same thing, no matter where I line this up, it's gonna kinda of get offset there. So that's just the way the point type works, whereas the text box will stay within the text box itself, but you can line this up left or right so that when you type, it kinda of goes out in the right direction. So we line these up back left, but you can also justify. Now you can't justify point type because it doesn't really have any sort of uh, barrier to indicate where the end of the text box is, like justification will line up or space out the words so they all line up to the edge of the text box. Well, there's no text box here, so that doesn't really work. But on a text box, it does. So we have justify text, left aligned, center, right aligned, and then just justify every single line all the way across, which doesn't always work very well, especially with that last line. But the difference between justifying text and not justifying text, if we duplicate this text down so that you can kind of see that difference, the bottom one here, I'll just align left, and you can see here what is called a rag. So this rag is the uneven spacing at the end of the line. You know, these words are not, spa these words are spaced out the same. So wherever they finish and wherever the next word bumps it down is what happens. Whereas up here, the words and spacing and the letter spacing is all different up here per line. And you can really notice that when you have larger text. When you have smaller text, it's it kind of works okay. But if this text was larger, you'll start to see things like, look at the space in between these words versus these. Like the spacing gets really off when that text is large compared to the text box size. But when it's smaller, it usually works a little bit better to make it nice and clean and it's gonna have a straight edge being justified. That's how you can align your text. Uh, you can also use the alignment panel. So if this text was off and this text was off, I could get them lined up to the left together by clicking and dragging to select both and then going up to window align. And this is my alignment panel. And I can just align these two objects to the left, for instance, or if I had them both aligned to the right as far as their text, right? So now the, the rag is over here on the left, but this text got way off. I can select them both and I could click on this text box and say, I want to align the header text with this text box and align them to the right. And that'll bring that text over. That's a couple different options to align text here in Illustrator.